I think we are all wired for connection. To be connected with people makes life more colorful, more meaningful, as if you have found more reasons to look forward for another day to be with them. But somehow along the way, we also see the danger of emotional attachment brought along by these connections. So we stop for a moment to figure things out. Some continues without heeding the warning signs, but others are taking a step back. It's normal to have a detour, to distance ourselves, and to distract our attention to other things. While emotional attachment is a wonderful feeling, but if you cannot handle the pain it can possibly give you, it will wreck you. Yes, it's a beautiful thing to hold on to the familiar, the beauty of the constant, the usual way of things, people, and places. The feeling it evokes on you is also a silent voice waiting to be heard. Sometimes, connection is not always mutual and reciprocal. While you feel so connected with a person as if there is a thousand volts drawing you closer to the person, that would not necessarily allow or follow that the person feels the same. You can only be a momentary companion. And when reality hits you, you begin to fear how to detach yourself. Only very few took the courage and risked what they used to have, what they used to do, what they used to talk about to save themselves from the dismal pain of falling. And as you progress life, so as bidding goodbye to what used to. What it was and what could have been are two opposing ends of what is now and of what is there. Some choose to be distant no matter how painful it could be because that's what they think is the right thing to do. Not all have the strength to declare the new path they choose to take. And they are never gone. They never abandon them. They just decide to look at them from afar and ready to rescue them whenever it's necessary. I guess that's the part of the beauty of life, to experience the search of the answers to our question, where did we go wrong? Sometimes we hurt and are hurt by people around, but it always gives us a lesson, a lesson to learn and to live by. Life can be awful sometimes, but it's not enough to stop experiencing the beauty of it. Let's live life to the fullest. Smile!